Welcome to episode one of 5-Bits. Today I want to share with you an interesting subject that I learned more about last night while surfing the web. I'm currently running Windows 7 64-bit Home Edition and my keyboard is configured for the United States. If you are from somewhere else, your system may be configured differently. On my keyboard, the next to the rightmost key on the top row of the main keypad has a backslash printed on it below and broken vertical bar above. Now if I press this key when holding down the shift key in WordPad, it produces a solid vertical bar, not the broken vertical bar printed on the key. For an explanation, we have to delve back into history. In the late 1950s, IBM developed its own character encoding system called EBCDIC. The vertical bar was in this character set. From what I can gather, the good folks developing the ASCII standard included this character for EBCDIC compatibility, apparently not really understanding what it was used for. In ASCII, the character's code is hex 7C. As my C programming audience already knows, Dennis Ritchie used this symbol as the bitwise OR operator in his C programming language. As time passed, some vendors preferred to show this character as a broken vertical bar, while others decided to show it as a solid vertical bar. But most keyboard manufacturers decided to print the broken vertical bar on the key. Matters were further complicated when the ISO people decided to create a new symbol beyond ASCII for the broken vertical bar and it was given the code hex A6. No one thought to tell the people making keyboards so they kept printing the broken vertical bar on their keys. Some people in Britain though decided that they wanted both kinds of vertical bars on their keyboards. The problem was that they decided that the new character was the solid vertical bar. So a lot of their keyboards produced broken vertical bars when the key with the solid vertical bar was pressed and vice versa. Finally, the confusion appears to have subsided somewhat in the era of Microsoft Windows. It seems to me that the ISO and Unicode people could have more easily solved the problem by declaring the broken vertical bar to be the original ASCII character instead of the solid one. Looks like another case of the tail trying to wag the dog. In the meanwhile, the keyboard I bought to use with my newest system has the wrong character printed on one of its keys. We will talk more about the vertical bar characters in our next episode of 5-Bits.